Hey guys, Alpha9 here. Welcome to my channel. And um, today's video is gonna be about DCS and BMI tracker. As I told you before, I'm gonna buy this software, and I did. I want to show you the uh, setups and the settings I'm using, and how do I use it in game. I know lots of people try head tracking, and they feel uncomfortable with it, and I got the same uh, feeling sometimes so basically you need to give yourself the time it's not easy to get used to such thing using your head and eyes to look um, at the monitor and at the sides of your uh, aircraft so let me show you the settings first okay we have the general settings here and um, basically the eye the tracked eye are both the head tracking filtering is 40 a uh, 84 the gaze filtering is 84 now um, you must have gaming extensions on enabled otherwise it will not work and for the head tracking output for the open track I set this to head and gaze now you can set this to head and only use your head I use the uh, the eyes for a tiny bit corrections so this is my settings uh, head tracking yaw 75 pitch is 70 and for eye tracking responsiveness is 10 you can set those at low maybe 10 and 10 this is up to you also guys my settings will not be helpful for everyone you need to experiment on your system it depends on your monitor size what kind of camera you have well I have a shitty camera here as you can see it's a it's a normal webcam cheap one and here are the result uh, the uh, resolutions I have for some reason um, the beam does not take the um, uh, the HD one the 1080 but when I looked at the website it says that beam eye tracker does not get any benefits from high resolution um, for for uh, the software to be good but the FPS will make a, b a bit of difference when it comes to performance so at 60 fps it will perform better so this is um, uh, about the camera also um, the camera location is important the software once you install it will ask you about the tilt angle so you got to uh, set this up here this is the this is it in general for the software when it comes to the performance I have a high performance it uses more energy but yeah I think it's this is this one is better because also my system uses this uh, plan when it comes to open track if we go to the options here I set my center and toggle to joystick buttons output I use the yaw pitch the roll is I don't need it to be honest so the X, the Y, the Z, I might be disabled some of those, I don't use them uh, or I don't find them uh, useful, some of them. When it comes to the filter, uh, the smoothing is 2.5, this will make the highest smooth possible for your head and eyes movement and dead zone is 0 0.06 for positioning position filtering is 1.5 and the dead zone is 0 0.3 now when it comes to the mapping this is the yaw basically I have it at 50 140 no symmetric the pitch is uh, 30 at 90 but I have symmetric too because uh, I don't want to be looking down uh, a lot for roll is disabled 
for the X it's kind of um, curvature here to make it ease at some points the Y is this 30 uh, 75 full and for the Z for the Z the Z is the one uh, the option that makes you come closer to the um, to the banners or to the system in front of you the back and the forward so you might need this it does not be required to have high settings so I have it at 5 and 5 because I just want to get close to look at the MFDs and stuff like that symmetric I don't want to go back a lot so it does not matter this is my settings let me show you how I use it in the game now when we start to use this guys seriously you feel uncomfortable so uh, my best advice it's worth it believe me it's worth it to use it it add immersive effects to your game and will make your gameplay more enjoyable but but at the same time you don't want to get frustrated because sometimes it gets you frustrated and you need to be careful about that you don't want to just uh, stop using it you need to give yourself some time and the way I use it I disable it most of the time I only enable it when I need it don't just keep looking left and right this will make you crazy now basically let me show you the movement here now it's uh, it's enabled of course when you start you need to center and make sure that you are sitting straight relaxed toward your camera and yeah this is this is it now I don't I only use my head why I disabled the eyes because you don't want every tiny eye movement to move your uh, in-game uh, pilot sight so basically if I want to look left right or up this is how it is this is this is relaxed now if I want to change something at the MFDs or at the monitors here I just look at the MFD and I disable it then I zoom in with my joystick zoom out do whatever I want without keeping it on because it will get you crazy if you if you zoom if I keep it on and I zoom in check how crazy it will be check this out you see it's it's because you are zooming in it will move I'm trying my best here to control it now this will be hard if you are trying to um, to designate any target on the ground when you zoom in check this out and see how it will start moving in crazy now I'm, I'm dealing with it my best so as not to move the your eyes this is why you need to lower the eyes and gaze settings otherwise you will get crazy believe it and th this is it simple as that if you feel that something wrong just press the button and it will center again let's take off and see how it goes in the air now it can be easier guys when you are in a chopper than a jet <laughs> because in jet things happens faster so take this in consideration let's look around you can zoom in it it will make your life easier when it comes to checking your surrounding or looking for targets yeah but at the same time you need to be careful you don't want to get frustrated so if I don't need it I just disable it also guys when it comes if you sometimes feel that it's not running well this might be your lighting you need to have a good lighting at your face so the camera can see 
um, much details as possible. And as you can see, it's, it's nice. Now, for the uh, Z I'm talking about is this one here. You see, you can just go forward and back. Some people does not use it. For the X, I guess, it's getting uh, up and down. And for the Y, I think it's this one. Now, the Y is, I, I think it's the Y or the X, one of them, which give you a side. Now, in, in the Apache, you might need this. Why? I will show you now. Now I'm at George or at the gunner um, seat. This will help you if you want to check things like you see here. You might want to turn things up on here or at the other side, as you can see. This is so useful. And yeah, this is it guys for today's video. I hope you enjoy it and find it useful. Uh, also, I just want to um, say that I'm not um, promoting the software guys. I bought it. So it's just my own experience and how I feel about it. So it's nice to have such a thing. I know everyone is looking for this. And when it comes to DCS, Star Citizen, uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator, any of those games, it works in a good way. Just you need to have a good camera, I think, and a good lighting. And you need to tweak your settings and it will be nice experience. This is it, guys. Uh, please subscribe, like the video. If you have any comments, any tips, any questions, leave it below. Until next time, stay safe, keep playing, and we'll see you the next one. Peace.